in a neighborhood on Atlanta's west side sits the clubhouse of the John A. White Park Golf Course. The 80-year-old red brick building serving as home to the story of one of black golf's most important and largely uncelebrated families. National Black Golf Hall of Fame, you know, you've been helping me out with it for the last couple of years. But I don't think you know the whole history and I have right here our souvenir programs that my dad had kind of put together. How much pride do I have in my job? I, I mean, it's, it's me. How many were first inducted into the Let's first see, class? Kind of, it was a lot. Wow. My dad always said, you know, wow. we had to make up for lost time. To honor history is to pass it along to the next generation. Started. For Jeff Donovan, so chairman and president of the National Black Golf Hall of Fame, there's an even bigger reason to share those stories. John Shippen, Calvin Ted Pete. Rose, Calvin Pete, Pete Brown, Lee Elder, Arnold Charlie Palmer. Sifford, wow. Arnold Palmer, that's you know, in the first induction the first class, induction, you know. That's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. Thank you for calling John A. White Park Golf Course, home of the first team Metro Atlanta. This is Jeff. I may have served you. Jeff Dunavant is a rarity in golf. Of the nearly 29,000 PGA of America professionals, fewer than 1% are African Americans. Oh, yeah. And along with his father, Harold, a pioneer who became the first African American to graduate from the PGA's business school, they are, to this day, the only black father and son PGA members in history. He was the golf professional at Casino Park in Flushing, New York, was the first black person to get a contract with the city of New York to manage a golf course. He was proud to be a PGA golf professional. I was proud to say, hey, my dad's a golf professional. A road less traveled by blacks, you know, because it is so very difficult. He also played professionally on the black golf tours, but he never made it to the PGA tour, and that was the best route for him to take. In 1986, Harold Dunavant founded the National Black Golf Hall of Fame as a way to celebrate and honor the accomplishments of black golfers. All of those individuals that he saw that were not only players, but that were trying to instill golf to these young black children, he felt like they deserved to be recognized. They deserved to be honored. Jeff would become a highly accomplished PGA professional in his own right, serving on various boards as a national trainer for First Tee, and in 2019, leading the Drew Charter High School boys team to the state championship becoming the first school in history to win a state golf championship with all black players and coaches in the country. Coach Jeff, I could honestly say, was the first person I met that just kind of took me under his wing and just wanted to help me as much as possible. He's allowed me a lot of different opportunities, exposed me to a ton of different relationships and new people. He's almost like my second father in a sense. Jeff's commitment to the National Black Golf Hall of Fame, the organization that his father founded, honors his family legacy, and perhaps more importantly, continues to pass along a history that has been forgotten or simply ignored for so long. There's no brick and mortar building, but Harold Donovan and now Jeff Donovan, they've done a tremendous job of, of documenting all these great players. And that's why the Black Golf Hall of Fame is so important. We have to remember those on whose shoulders we stand. To know that our culture is being preserved, that all the younger kids that are now just picking up the sticks now have people to look up to and really just prove to them like, hey, this is possible. To the standard that he's going to preserve our legacy in this sport, I mean, it's, it's amazing. To be executive director and president of the National Black Golf Hall of Fame, I mean, if the Lord took me away today, I'm, I'm totally satisfied. I know I was meant to do what I'm doing. I know I was meant to keep this legacy alive, but it's, it's so, so important to me to keep it going for him.